One of the key characteristics of NumPy arrays is their dimension. So we'll take a look at this and then we'll talk about how you can refer to particular elements in the array through indices. A one-dimensional array, which we've seen already, is more or less like a list um, where each of the elements in the array uh, occur in a sequence. A two-dimensional array is more like a table. We can think about it as actually being an array of arrays because it could be thought of as being formed by a sequence, and in this case, a sequence of three items, and each of those three items is themselves another array. So we have an array of arrays or a two-dimensional array. It's possible to have more than two dimensions, although that's difficult to visualize. Returning to our Jupyter Notebook, here we can see the one-dimensional price array that we worked with before. If we want to create a two-dimensional array, we could do it in a stepwise fashion, sort of like I described. So here, we're, let's imagine a situation where we have some annual sales figures over five years for cars, for trucks, and for SUVs. So we can create a list, uh, one list for cars, one list for trucks, and one list for SUVs. And then we can take each of those three lists and create a list of those list objects and then pass that list of lists into the NumPy array function to turn them in, uh, from a list of lists into a two-dimensional ND array. So let's go ahead and run this. And we see here we have an array of arrays or a two-dimensional array. We can ask Python to tell us some things about any particular array, and, and some of the things that, uh, that we can ask about are the dimensions of an array. That tells you if it's one, two, or more dimensions. The shape of the array, which is the number of elements in each of those dimensions. And then a new way of finding out about type. If we ask for the d-type of the array, Recall that each of the elements in the array have to be the same kind of thing. So we'll get a single answer, which is the kind of things that the array is composed of. If we run this, we see that our price array has a single dimension. The uh, shape or number of elements in that one dimension is five. And it's composed of a data type that is new to us called float64. Um, this is a numeric type. So in addition to creating the ND array object, NumPy also creates some new uh, numeric types, and this is one of the things that helps with the performance increase. In our, if we look at our annual sales array, we see that it has two dimensions. The first dimension, which we can think of as the rows, has three uh, elements, and then each of those three rows has five elements within it. We can think of those as the five columns. Um, in this case, the type of thing that we put in is an int 64 because those uh, are integers and these were uh, floating point numbers because they had decimal points in them.